is Laura Fairweather. I'm with Envision U Integrative Health Coaching and today I'm with Jessica DeViller here. Uh, she is a board certified music therapist extraordinaire. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about five simple ways that you can use uh, music to improve your well-being. So I'm going to let Jess start out with uh, our first way for you. Well, I think the most important thing to keep in focus when you're using music to improve your, your well-being is to be mindful about what you need to use music for. So if you need to re, um, re-energize your body and motivate, do you need to relax and unwind? Do you need to focus and concentrate on a task? It's also important to think about what kind of mood you're in when choosing music. So if you're feeling down and sad, picking something that is more sad, um, a sad love song or, um, you know, a song about loss. I'm so lonesome, so I could cry. Um, but then choosing a music, if you want to achieve uh, happiness or a, a period of resolution with however you're feeling, picking music that will go along to match your mood along the way. Um, so be mindful about what kind of mood you're at and where you're at in your, your uh energy level for the day are really important to think about when choosing music. You didn't know you had to be so mindful in choosing music, but I think that's a great suggestion. That's fantastic. So now I also hear that a lot of people use um, music to help them sleep. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, that's an important thing to be mindful about also. Um, some t- simple tips to think about when you're choosing music for sleep is Choosing music that uh, you already don't have an association with, something that's uh, not familiar to you, and it doesn't have to be classical, and um, classical music can be sometimes a little bit too busy. So you want to think about choosing music that's also not um, having a lot of changes in it, where it gets loud or soft in in, um, really short intervals, or doesn't get fast and slow, something that's very even and steady, um, and uh, can help you just relax and and stay focused. And hopefully it's loud enough over if there's somebody snoring with you. Or something like that, right? Yes. (laughs) Your your buds work very nicely. (laughs) Ah, great idea. So this is also a very fun one. So music for recreation and creativity for your well-being. Yes, music can be really, really fun. So you want to choose an activity that could be um, something to re-energize yourself, uh, to refill your cup, um, self-care, something that uh, could be drawing to music, drawing to a song, you know, just doodling and uh, free drawing uh, that doesn't have any judgment associated with it. You could also uh, take singing lessons or piano lessons, take a music lesson of an instrument that you've been wanting to learn and maybe have put it off for, oh, I don't, you know, I'm not going to be good, so I'm not going to want to do it, but just do it for something that is fun for you. I like to just dance while I'm, like, doing, uh... Dancing to music is great. You know, just letting yourself go, Yeah, you know, moving to music, move. that's a really good form so of... So good, or, or, you know, that's a great thing when you're recreation. vacuuming, yeah. or, you, you know, you're cleaning the house or something like yeah. that to, you know, give you some energy. But I also use some uh, music sometimes for meditation, too. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. a very important thing to help your mind. So I hear music is really good for helping you with your memory. Can you, you know, give me an example or help me understand that a little more? Yes, yes, something that easy and fun that you could do. Well, maybe not so easy, but... <laughs> um, you could write a song for your grocery list for the week. So, say uh, a, a simple song, song like, yes, yeah, mm-hmm. a simple song like Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Um, you could put, you know, something like pop, beer, milk, and cheese. Not the Oreo cookies. Veggies and fruit and quinoa too. A rotisserie chicken for you. Wow. I like your priorities with the pop and beer first. (laughs) (laughs) But no, that was a great song. (laughs) Really, it's catchy. It's a great way to remember what you're doing and help exercise your mind as well as, you know, remember your grocery list if you don't have you know, a phone to put it in or a piece of paper to write it down. Mm-hmm. There's a songwriter in all of us somewhere. That sounds good. And so, you know, one thing that, you know, I know I use music for sometimes is, you know, just um, this, this last thing is finding your voice. And, you know, like when you're nervous and, you know, you have to go speak, 
um, you know, at an interview or do a presentation or you're going on a date or whatever it might be, um, and just trying to kind of mm -mm, clear the airflow in your voice. So tell me a little bit about what you know about that. Well, singing does a lot of things for your body. It helps you um, relax and it helps you uh, um, find energy and, and creates endorphins within you. So it also helps increase your confidence too. Um, so some simple things that you could do is like sing in the car when you're driving to and fro if you like to listen to music or um, sing in the shower. Robert Ducky, you're the one. Quack, quack. You make up time so much food. Quack, quack. Make up simple melodies and sing them around the house while you're while you're cleaning or, um, you know, getting prepared for the work day. Um, and uh, there's a lot of benefits that will trickle down in the effect from, you know, relaxing, energizing, improving mm -hmm. your mood. And All right, your well, thank you for joining me today and talking about the five ways that we can use music to help with our well-being. Um, I'm going to pop a little informational, just a little reminder here afterwards, just so you can take a peek at those five different ways. But, Jessica, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me, Laura. It's an honor to be here.